Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Nursing Now Challenge and our third in our series for this Global Solutions Nursing Initiative. Um, you'll remember that we are focusing on disinformation and misinformation and with a particular focus on the pandemic accord. However, you can focus on a topic that is pertinent to you, your clinical area, the space that you work in. So we are working with the World Health Organization and the wonderful Alex, who if you've joined our previous sessions, you will know that they have, uh, that she has um, really given great insight into this uh, space, which nurses don't necessarily, or midwives inhabit, but we want to encourage more of that. So our Global Solutions Initiative really is an opportunity for you as our community to show your innovation, to show your engagement into topics that are of global significance to health and our workforce and the population of the world. And nurses also um, generally aren't in this space either. So this is about you being creative, imaginative and having um, an ability and the opportunity to show what you have got, uh, lots of ideas, lots of things to say about topics and an opportunity to influence and make a statement about our profession, what we think about things, and also an opportunity to, I guess, win um, if you submit uh, to the, it's not really a competition, I like to think of it, it was an opportunity. So um, I hope lots of you have joined us today and are listening. If you've not managed to join us, but you're watching again on video, welcome. And we look forward to receiving your entry. Um, I'm gonna hand over to Alex now. Is that correct? I've got that wrong. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, hi. It is Alex, the lovely Alex. Yes, looking gorgeous today. Thank you so much for joining us. I know you're really busy um, and we are so delighted that you've been part of the series for us. It, it's just absolutely wonderful. You're really informing our nursing and midwifery community globally and you're stimulating their thinking and you've stimulated my thinking because I've learned such a lot since we've been doing this. So over to you, Alex. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me in this uh, series of sessions. It's really been my pleasure. Um, and I'm hoping to stay in touch with you guys and the network in, in, in future. Um, as we need nurses and midwives, actually, we need we need your voices in, in, in public and global health. Um, so maybe just to, to recap for those who have missed, uh, but I think the sessions are recorded and available, um, that um, in the first presentation, we covered more like the basic understanding uh, what is misinformation, what is disinformation, uh, how harmful it can be for different health uh, activities or policy work. And in particular, we were focusing on the pandemic agreement um that's still being negotiated we were hoping to have it finalized by the assembly this year um but member states uh still need some time to finalize this agreement so hopefully it will be done before the end of this year or no later no later than may next year um and what we are witnessing and experiencing is a lot of disinformation of what this agreement is or what this agreement would be or how it would uh, limit countries. And actually, uh, the, on the contrary, the agreement is there. And idea behind it is to uh, strengthen collaboration between countries. And, and, and its heart is actually to address equity. And um, as nurses and, and health workers, you've been on the front line of COVID, you know better than me what you went through or what your colleagues went through. Um, so uh, when you communicate um, in any any way, but uh, from my point of view on social media, we would like to see more of your voices and what this pandemic agreement would mean for you. We need, we need more um, good content and positive voices um, on the contrary to those who are actually misinforming the public uh, with their, their own agenda. Um, in the in the second session, um, I've shared some practical tips and do's and don'ts, 
how to um, how you can make your social media content more engaging, uh, simpler, cleaner, so easier for your audience to to follow. Um, but again, I would invite you to be authentic, to be yourself, uh, to speak from your heart, um, and uh, not to be shy to to raise your voices. Uh, Dr. Tedros was telling us in WHO that we are shined by design, so he's. It's shaken us and empowered us to be louder than we used to be. Um, and um, I, I would pass the message as well to, uh, to you. And as part of this series, um, we would welcome your ideas on how we could actually um, maybe use some tactics or ideas to counter disinformation around the pandemic accord. Um, so for those who have ideas in mind, please submit. I think uh, Aisha and Hannah will share more details how to do that. Um, but for those who submit, we will. I will be part of the reviewing team and um, we will look into some ideas and arrange further conversation with my director of communications and some other colleagues in WHO. And hopefully some of the ideas uh, can be taken on board. Um, so we, we, we look forward to continuing working with this group. And um, also, yes, we, we, we need to hear from you and we need additional ideas, but we also need additional voices to be involved and engaged. So when you think about this project, uh, it may not be for necessarily for WHO to implement or to be on a WHO channel, Maybe you will have idea how better to mobilize the network of nurses or midwives. Uh, what do you need from us um, to be better informed or to be more informed in real time, uh, to be more proactive, et cetera. So um, we, this is a um, work in progress and we are learning every day as we are encountering new challenges. So we will be happy to learn from you and hear from you as well on, on your suggestions and ideas. Thank you so much, Alex. Oh, actually, sorry, um, I'm, I'm on my iPad and it's just slipped. <laughs> sorry, everyone. Technical issues happen all the time for me. Um, thank you so much, Alex. And we're going to hear from Hannah, who is our communications, our external communications director. And um, this is an unusual appearance for Hannah. She doesn't often um, come from behind the screen where she's making sure that it all runs smoothly and does all the work around all of our um, activities that we do along with Faye. So I'm so pleased that Hannah is, um, you're getting a chance to see her and meet her um, maybe for the first time. Um, and it's lovely to put a face to the name. Um, so Hannah, over to you. Thanks so much. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you. Lovely to be here with you all today. I, I think you probably all know me, but yes, if you don't, my name's Hannah. Um, I'm the Director of External Relations for the Nursing Now Challenge. And, and um, I'm absolutely delighted to be here talking to you about this Global Solutions Initiative and what we are hoping to get from you next. Um, so as Aisha and Alex have said, you know, we've had two great sessions already um, really talking about the problem of mis and disinformation and your role as nurses and how we can tackle this this problem um, and so the next step is where we really want to hear from you um, so what we ask from you uh, for all um, nursing our challenge global solutions initiative is that you submit a short concept note so what i thought would be useful is if we just run through you know what does that mean um, in kind of practical terms so first things first all the information is on the Nursing Now Challenge website. I've just popped the link in the chat, so hopefully you've got that to hand. But if not, please don't worry. The slides and the links will all be shared with you after the session. Um, but yes, guidelines, recordings of the previous sessions, everything is, is on our website. So hopefully, um, you know, there to kind of guide you step by step through this next part. Um, so what are we talking about? Uh, we want to know how you would use your voice and influence to tackle myths and disinformation around the pandemic accord. But if you feel particularly strongly about another issue, please feel free to send in your ideas with regard to that issue. So, for example, it might be that 
in your community this huge misinformation and disinformation around the HPV vaccine and you think actually I've got, got some great ideas on how I could counter that please feel free to you know focus your concept note and your ideas on whatever feels most pertinent to you obviously we've been so lucky to have Alex with us and um, the pandemic accord is really a topic that we we want to hear your opinions your voices on so that would be great but as I say we're, we're very flexible um, and in that vein uh, being flexible there is no word limit to this concept note but what we would ask is that you try to be concise um, as concise as possible with your answers so getting into the, the details, wh what do we want in your concept note? First things first, we want to hear about you. We want to know who you are, what you're doing, um, where you're working. And then we want to know about your experience of tackling mis and disinformation, because we know that as nurses and midwives, you know, you are that close contact with your patients. You hear what people are, are saying, how people are feeling about particular issues. We have no doubt that there have been many occasions that you have successfully tackled conversations um, that are kind of based on myths and disinformation. And we want to know, we want to know about them. And we want to know about how would you use those experiences to inspire others? And um, what knowledge could you share with others? How could you help others uh, based on your experience to tackle myths and disinformation? Then we want to know a little bit about the context. So how did COVID-19 affect your country? How did it affect your colleagues? Um, what is your understanding of the pandemic accord and why is it so important that WHO member states um, agree on this pandemic accord? We also want to know what you see as the primary misconceptions about the World Health Organization and the pandemic accord. As Alex has said, there's been lots of really negative um, comments and uh, conversations around WHO and the pandemic accord that are obviously completely false. Um, and we want to know how you see it, what's your perspective? And then obviously, most importantly, we want to know about your ideas. Um, what would you do if you were using your voice on social media? What could you do uh, to kind of tackle the mistrust and this mis and disinformation um, pandemic that we're experiencing? Um, as Alex said, it's so important to speak from the heart, to be authentic, um, be creative, you know, the, kind of the opportunities are endless. There's no limits on what we're you know, looking for here, you might decide you want to create a video series, you might decide you want to have a series of Twitter chats, I don't know that, you know, the ball is in your court, be creative, what would you like to do? What do you think is the best way to target um, to target your audience? So there's just a few kind of cue pointers here to help you um, to help you in developing those ideas. And then Last but not least, again, we want to know about you and why you wanted to take part in this Global Solutions Initiative and how being a part of this has helped you, um, has hopefully, you know, given you some more contacts, has connected you with other nurses interested in this field and why that's, you know, significant to you. So once you've come up with your concept note, um, we would ask that you send it to us at challenge at nursingnow.global in either a Word or a PDF document. And the deadline is the 26th of July. Um, and and that's that's it, <laughs> she says. Um, it's as simple as that. We want to know your ideas. We want to know what you think. And you have such a wonderful opportunity to pitch your ideas to Alex and the communications team at WHO. Um, this is such a wonderful, wonderful opportunity and we really hope that you will grab it with both hands. Um, so as, as I say, be creative, simple things like please write in full sentences. If English is not your first language, do not worry, we completely understand. Um, use this guidelines document that is available on the website that we will send, we will send you all the link to so that you've got it. Check out the previous webinars. Um, Alex kindly shared with us a Pandemic Accord toolkit check that out, see how you can be inspired by those resources that exist. Um, and, and we can't wait to hear from you. Um, and I think that's everything, unless anybody has any questions. So we are absolutely, let me stop sharing my screen. 
thrilled to have Amy with us. Amy is our wonderful co-chair of the Challenges Committee um, and a long-standing, very cherished member of the Nursing Now Challenge community and also a winner of a Nursing Now Challenge Global Solutions Initiative. So we are really lucky to have her with us here today to talk a little bit about her experience and give you some top tips. Amy, over to you. Thank you so much and thanks for the great introduction. Good morning, everyone. My name is Amy Staley and I currently work as a clinical nurse manager at New York Presbyterian Hospital Weill Cornell Medical Center in New York City. Um, as Hannah mentioned, outside of my traditional role, I also serve as co-chair of the Challengers Committee, where I work with my colleague Clarissa to amplify and empower the voices of nurses globally. And then in 2020, I was fortunate to be named an immunization advocacy champion based on an application that I submitted for um, a Nursing Now Challenge Global Solutions Initiative to increase vaccine equity and adherence. Um, so I'm really excited to be with you guys today, and I'm just going to share some tips on how to make your submission stand out. So when I was creating my concept, no, I had the privilege of taking part in a storytelling course through People Power Health an organization that helps healthcare professionals in storytelling. So when writing any um, submission for a giving topic, I like to keep the following words in the forefront of my mind, who, why, and when. So I always begin with my why, why are you tackling this specific topic of misinformation? Was it your personal connection to the topic? Maybe you've dealt with it in your clinical practice, or perhaps you had an encounter in your community that sparked your desire to change the mindset of others. Talking about your own personal experiences and outlooks can make for a really strong opening statement that will lead you into your next portion. So for the next portion, I typically will focus on my who. Who is the audience that I'm trying to connect with? You might consider tailoring your story to include your audience as well, feel free to speak directly at them too. You might say something like, imagine the impact that would have if you and I and Aisha and Hannah and the 4.7 million nurses around the world each spoke to one person. Don't be afraid to call out your audience by name and loop in any common th themes from your personal story throughout your concept note as well. And last, once you've captivated the attention of your specific audience, you wanna clearly define your plan and discuss exactly when it will be revealed. So you can conclude your concept note with a sense of urgency as well. Consider highlighting what might go wrong if the problem's not addressed immediately. Try to leave your audience with a sense of hope, excitement, and anticipation of what lies ahead. I'm gonna drop a link in the chat as well in case it might be helpful to some of you. Um, this link is to a collaboration of stories from a WHO infodemic management training that I was fortunate to take part in. Um, so please feel welcome to look through. You might find a story from your country or your community that leaves you feeling inspired before you write your concept note. Um, and please feel welcome to contact me as well if you're looking for any assistance or guidance. If you weren't ready, you wouldn't be here. And if not you, then who? Best of luck to all of you, and I look forward to hearing your stories. Thank you so much, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> We're quite excited about this, as you can tell. <laughs> what What do we want to do next, Hannah? I think just if anybody has any questions that they yes. want to ask Amy or you, you, unfortunately Alex has had to leave us, but she has said um, she's popped her contact. Um, let me just see. Uh, yes, she said she left her contact in previous slides. So if anybody wants to reach out to her, please do feel free. Um, but yeah, maybe we, I mean, we've whizzed through um, all our, our guidelines and, and tips. So if anybody has any questions, please feel free. Um, yeah. Yeah. And um, I think even if somebody is watching this on the recording, which a lot of, people, of our members do because they're in different parts of the world and we're in different time zones. Um, I think this is an opportunity where you maybe think to yourself, oh, well, I can't do this or I haven't got enough expertise or um, I'm not quite sure if this is for me, because sometimes as nurses and midwives, we are a little bit reticent. And what I would say is um, be courageous, take a leap of faith. And, you know, we are here to support you. This is a supportive opportunity. It's not about 
I guess, trying to grade you in any way. This is about giving you an opportunity to test out your skills, to be able to do something like this. And um, you might surprise yourself uh, and uh, you can share it with your colleagues also. That would be a great thing for you to do because we really do want a workforce that is literate in this area um, where we can say something about a topic that um, in a respectful way um, and provide accurate information that is part of our role as legitimate um, information providers and in a public health role. Um, also, it's our job to provide the population with accurate information, but also in terms of the advocacy work that we want to promote. We want to um, give you the opportunity to practice um, articulating your ideas and your message. So I think there are many things about this, and Alex even talked about this in the previous sessions about how do we protect ourselves? Because it's okay to say, well, yes, get out there on social media or different platforms, but actually there are some difficulties and there can be some challenges with that. And I know I've experienced that and I was quite shocked about that. And then it's about how you respond to that. So I think there are lots of great things about this opportunity through this initiative. And if you have got any questions, please just email us, even if you're watching this on video again. But we're really looking forward to receiving your um, entries and reading them. And what we find is that our, our community comes up with great ideas, ideas that we've not thought of and are very innovative. And um, this, is, this is your chance. So uh, please just go for it. Absolutely. Do you have any questions in the chat? I don't, we... no. don't think we've got any questions, no. Okay. Okay, well, please share this with your um, colleagues. And remember, the Nursing Now Challenge, our community includes universities, so student nurses and student midwives, and um, all, as well as hospitals, community settings, etc. So there is scope for everybody to be involved in this. And um, we're excited to see, oh, there's Zipporah. Hi, Zippy. Is there a limit to the pages of the word count? Uh, there is not a limit. You're, you've got free reign. <laughs> you can, I, um, I, know, I know everything. We were having this conversation yesterday, actually, Hannah and I and Faye, and we're laughing about it because we're like, will we, won't we? But we haven't um, this time said that. And, um, I know that can sometimes be a bit daunting um, for early career nurses because they've come out of education where there is always a word limit for everything. And, um, but, you know, something short, something longer, they both could be as good as each other. So, um, you know, I think it's about the content of that, what you're saying, it's about the message. And, you know, some things might take a few pages, a couple of pages, some might take maybe five or six pages. It's just how you are following those guidelines that um, Hannah's put together on the slides. Go back to those and use that structure um, and kind of follow a logical structure to the messaging. So I would suggest that Zippy, but thank you for asking because it's a really good question, important question. And I'm hoping that you're going to do something and share it with your colleagues also. Um, I think that's it then. I think we can we can go. Um, just maybe a little plug, since we're recording, some people might be watching this. Hannah, can you just tell us what we've got coming up in the next um, wee while? Yeah, sure. So I just wanted to say, remember that the deadline for submissions for this Global Solutions Initiative is the 26th of July. And that's, please send, it, send your concept notes to challenge at nursingnow.global. Um, so coming up the rest of this month, we've got our global book club with Catherine Trebek, wonderful Catherine Trebek, who is a political economist. Um, I'm not sure if any of you managed to catch her first session. We held the session earlier this uh, last month, 17th of May it was, um, where we were talking all about her book, The Wellbeing Economy, and we were joined by five wonderful nurses who were interviewing her. Um, and for our next session, we will be taking a little bit of a more interactive 
positive approach. Uh, we've got a couple of questions for our participants. So if you join that session, which we really hope you will, um, you'll be hearing from Catherine. She'll be recapping kind of the main themes, what we talked about during the last session. Um, then we're gonna have a little bit of discussion with our early career nurse panel again. And then we're gonna head into a, a workshop format and break off into breakout rooms and have, have a little bit of a debate. So that should be a really great one to be part of. That's on the 28th of June at, if my memory serves me well, 9 a.m. I think, as always, everything is on the website. We have a new page on our website. Um, you can search activity and upcoming events and you will see there everything that is that is coming up. Um, so that's June. Um, July, I think we're looking quite quiet, because it's a, a holiday month for a lot of people I know. August, we'll be having a welcome webinar. This is your opportunity. If, if you are a member of the Nursing Now Challenge, but your organization isn't signed up, encourage them, bring them along. We want everybody to be taking um, advantage of this wonderful global network that really is a global family um, of supportive people who want to you know, lift you up, raise your voices and give you wonderful opportunities. And I'm sure Amy can attest to that. Um, so that's in August. And then also in August, we are launching another Nursing Now Challenge Global Solutions Initiative in collaboration with the Sabin Vaccine Institute and specifically the HPV Consortium. Um, and that will be looking at um, the role of nurses and midwives in uh, the HPV, promoting HPV prevention and um, treatment. So lots of really exciting things coming up. I think we can possibly I'm, I'm going to do it I'm not sure if I'm allowed to but I'm going to anyway we have a very exciting book club that will be coming we're not sure when but soon um with our ambassador so I won't say any more than that I'll leave it at that but um it's a super exciting one um so please stay tuned thank you thank you so much Hannah and um I hope you have a wonderful day evening afternoon everyone thank you for joining us those who've managed to do that and for those who are watching on video, thank you also. Please um, share the work of Nursing Now Challenge. We are continuing to grow. Uh, we've just been looking at um, our numbers recently and uh, we are definitely expanding. So um, kind of, I guess, um, if you are our on the ground ambassadors, that would be wonderful. Sharing what is a fantastic global community. And um, we are thinking of you today and have a great Friday. Take care, bye.